Yo, yo, yo. This is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. I'm magic. And today we're talking about Moon and Sagittarius. All right, so now I'd have to say that Moon and Sagittarius is probably one of the more, this is just a great placement, okay? Because this is the thing. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion, progression, life, adventure, discovery within adventure, and travel. And so, <clears throat> when we're talking about Moon here, this is probably one of the more positive places for the Moon to be at. Okay, this is probably one of the best constellations that you could, or the constellation that you would hope your Moon would be under, okay? They say that Moon in Leo is like one of the most positive placements to have for the Moon, but really, the intense fixed nature of Leo makes it a little bit difficult to have this placement because it's like, it can be overwhelming. It can be too much sun energy within. It can be too much emotion, too much powerful, fiery emotion. But when we have Jupiter here, hold on. All right. As I was saying, sometimes <laughs> Moon and Leo can be too much powerful, fiery emotion. Okay. Now, Moon in Sagittarius is obviously, you know, Sagittarius is a fire sign, so this is a fire placement for the moon. But Sagittarius is like a cool fire, okay? Whereas Aries is that explosive fire, Leo is that forever burning fire, Sagittarius is that cool fire, okay? that cool blue fire and essentially it's not fixed I, I can't remember what its uh, modality well I know it's not fixed okay these people are basically is this cardinal no this is not cardinal well whatever anyway look Sagittarius is unpredictable all right Moon in Sagittarius is not the type, like, they'll make plans with you all day long. You know, because they don't like saying no to people. <clears throat> they usually are the type to, whereas Aries will be like, oh, I'm sorry, you know what, I don't think I can make it. Even though it's a little bit uncomfortable, Aries, they value honesty more than they do emotion. So it's like, Aries will be like, oh, sorry, I can't make it. Even if it's a really important day and they can't make it, they, they'll tell you. Sagittarius will be like, oh yeah, I'll make it. Because they don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want to bring the mood down. They don't want to bring their mood down. Is really what it is. And, um, you know, Moon and Sagittarius can be a little bit like, they're very childlike. They're very childlike. They do want to come through for people. But they don't really think through how that might not be possible. Or they just really don't want to disappoint people. Get into the mode of saying no. And usually these people, they usually want to go everywhere they say they, they're going to go. But are they able to do it? Not always. As I was just saying. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I would have to say though, it's it's a great placement because they really, even though they can go, they can go through major ups and downs like everybody else, right? You know, breakups, heartbreaks, major disappointments. They really, 
like they really have a grasp on staying positive you know where other signs might not uh, moon and sagittarius they really do their best and are pretty successful at not focusing on the negative not being fixed on the negative um they're very flexible all right now when these people are going like let's say they're running late somewhere right let's say they really want to be there they really want to be on time but they're struggling because things are slowing them down this happens a lot with people with strong sagittarius energy because they're always you know they're always doing something they're very busy they're very active they just have like an abundance of energy like jupiter okay they have big energy and so typically these people will have so many things going on and they don't realize how it takes time to get from one place to another <laughs> or how sometimes you know things overlap certain engagements run on longer than intended just just a variety of things cause the Sagittarius or people with strong Sagittarius energy to be late and uh, sometimes it is because they just overestimated their ability to get from point A to point B on time right but sometimes it really is other things slowing them down now usually though these people won't stress themselves out about it right they really don't like heavy emotions and it's really not that they don't like heavy emotions well they don't but they're they're just so changeable you know they just their mind changes their emotions change so much like the gemini and they're kind of always thinking forward you know they they these are these can be natural salesmen because they can really focus on the positive they can really focus on the positive like no other <laughs> and so it's kind of like they're good at glossing over negative details they're just good at it um yeah they don't like to focus on the negative which is why gemini typically is attracted to them people with strong gemini energy because gemini they can be so positive and negative swing back and forth between the two sometimes or it's like sagittarius balances that out and is just always on this forever positive trail of happiness you know or at least they strive for that and they're pretty good at it um you know these people can be you know they can as they say gloss over the details so you know let's say they've been letting their friends down a lot they might not want to acknowledge that you know they might you know try to brush it off and and just rephrase it and focus on the positives of themselves right and say well i'm just a i'm just a freedom loving person you know i just love my freedom or i just love not having to answer to anybody and it's it's really just that they're unreliable <laughs> sometimes you know they're just um they're not they usually just don't take things they don't take really much of anything seriously you know um <clears throat> uh, i think i heard okay there was this one female she's like an um an influencer online i guess and she's a scorpio sun sign but i swear to you she has maybe moon or mars and sagittarius something in sagittarius and she was um I, there was a clip of her she was running late somewhere and she was saying um i'm gonna get there when i get there she's like i'm doing everything i can to get there on time there's no point in like being like because i'm still gonna get there when i get there there's no point of being stressed on top of it you know and it's like that makes sense but at the same time, sometimes they can be too lax. <laughs> sometimes they can take things too lightly. You know, sometimes they can, you know, things can be too casual. And so it's like people who want to go deeper, people who want to have a more lasting relationship, or people who generally just crave deeper emotional intimacy, 
they just can't really connect with the moon in Sagittarius and it usually just doesn't work out because the moon in Sagittarius doesn't naturally feel like they really want to go super deep anyways they don't t I want to say I want to say that their like default motto is is that nothing is really all that serious anyways so I don't know you know they they might not be for traditional marriage they might be for traditional marriage if because you know they can be very spiritually inclined and if they have heavy capricorn energy then of course they'll definitely want to get married but moon and Ca uh, moon and sagittarius by itself is not necessarily needy of emotional commitment from another person and they're not too romantic either they're more so friendship and family oriented than they are romantic or passionate or even sexual okay because there are signs that are more sexual than others and i would have to say that sagittarius can be sexual but they're not their sexual nature is not very deep you know, so they can have a lot of casual relationships and be sexually active with those people. These are the types of people that can have multiple sexual relationships. These are the type of people that, you know, they might be interested in polygamous relationships. You know, maybe not. It really depends on what the spiritual, what where the spiritual values lie with the moon in Sagittarius because if they value one-on-one -on -one marriage lifetime marriage then that's probably what they're going to go for right because that's what they feel that they were taught to do but you know if like this is the thing though it's funny because I feel like sometimes a lot of the time I'll get mostly positive feedback on all of my videos and they're like oh my god you're just speaking straight truth etc etc but then there will always be one person who's just like you don't know what the heck you're talking about and i'm just like you probably have some aspects with outer planets that are tremendously affecting the overall expression of your placements okay because you could have moon and cancer which is like the placement for family, right? The, the placement for long-term marriage. These people want marriage like... They, they could marry anybody they want it so much, right? As long as that person fits the mold of what could make a happy marriage. Um, but um, if this moon and cancer individual has something like moon and cancer square uranus or conjunction uranus then this is totally gonna change everything because uranus is the planet that is most associated with aquarius the planet associated with aquarius and aquarius has nothing it doesn't want anything to do with marriage uranus and aquarius have everything to do with rebellion anti-norm anti-tradition collective rather than like a a unit fam family like a family unit more like a grand collective sign okay so it's kind of like you know if none of this resonates with you then you might have some other aspects that are affecting the moon and sagittarius energy all right anyway yeah so I mean, with all that being said, you know, Moon and Sagittarius energy is kind of like, they don't really reflect too much. They don't, I, I want to say they don't think about themselves too much. I could be totally wrong, though. They can be very reflective. They can be very retrospective. Oh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? I can't tell if this is... I can't tell what this is. This is gross. Um, moon and Sagittarius, you know, they can be very 
full of humor. I will have to say they're very full of humor and they can be very attractive because they're so vivacious. They're so, usually they would be quick to compliment if they have some strong like Venus placements. Um, you know, Moon and, a Sagittarius energy can have a lot of swagger. This can be like the, the, the stud of the Zodiac, okay? Now I call the Libra the player of the Zodiac. Well, Sagittarius is the stud of the Zodiac, okay? And what I mean by this is the stud... He's kind of like, the player will date anybody. The player will play anyone. But the stud is like that, that choice stallion that only mates with the prize mares. Okay, and so Sagittarius usually, typically, usually goes for people that he finds to be the most attractive. The most... Jupiterian, you know, usually he'll be attracted to somebody who's either heavy or she will be attracted to somebody who has strong Gemini or strong Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> so they'll be attracted to that that sports guy who's, you know, on the field or on the court just Ooh, that's a nice bird right there. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Is that a dove? No, that's not a dove. It's like this gray. I don't know what kind of bird this is. Hold on. Huh. Okay. Anyway. How do I turn this back around? Uh... Okay, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I finally learned I could do that. Because I have some of these, you, some of these astrology videos, nature will come out and the animals will show me themselves and I want to show you, but I can't. But now I can. Anyways, yeah, Moon and Sagittarius, they always want to learn more, grow more, become better at whatever it is that they do. And so these people can be very, very popular. These are probably the most, the most popular people that you'll ever meet because since they don't take anything too seriously, it's very easy for them to forgive. It's very easy for them to move on when somebody has wronged them. And it's very easy for them to just be like, well, you know what? No big deal, whatever. Um... And then just focus on the positives of that person, you know? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous because I... My moon in Leo can be very egotistical. And so it's like when people are not stroking my ego or when they don't meet me on my terms, I take it really, really personal, get offended, and then sometimes I, I burn a bridge. <laughs> but moon in Sagittarius, you know... They probably don't have this issue at all because it's kind of like since they're so focused on like the good and just like letting things go and not being like whatever they can be very full of philosophy that's another thing they these people take philosophy very seriously Ooh, flew away very seriously and and so you know it's kind of like they take these as major life truths and they live them you know they live them and um so these people can be very happy in life because they they typically learn lessons very easily oh yeah and these people learn life lessons really easily for the most part for the most part um yeah, I don't know. With all that being said, let me know if this was helpful. Subscribe and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.